lot of us spend our lives waiting. Waiting to get out of school, waiting to pursue that passion, waiting for enough money to go on that trip, waiting for the perfect moment. Well, spoiler alert, there is no perfect moment. All we have is right here and right now. Now, I don't mean to go all philosophical on you, because if you know me, you know I'm not really a philosophical person. Well, sometimes I am. Anyways, me and my friends have been having a lot of conversations recently about the things we want to do, the things we want to achieve, the places we want to go, but all these conversations always end with, I need to be here before I'm here. I need to achieve this before I can achieve this. And I think all of that is just rooted in fear, because failing is scary. And well, you can't fail if you never start. All right guys, let's go on a mini road trip. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tired of driving. I've been doing a lot recently, but it is what it is. <sighs> now, this is a school that I used to go to 12 years ago. And it feels so weird coming back here and looking at the building or looking at the portables that I had classes in, which can we talk about portables for a second? Because I know for a fact, this building has more than enough rooms to support the six grade five classes that there were. So why was I freezing in a portable in minus 20? You make that make sense. Now, when you think of your past self, the version of you that was, I don't know, in grade five, in school 12, 15, 20 years ago, do you think that version of you would be happy knowing that the current version of you is putting things off for the perfect time. You keep delaying booking that flight to Europe. You're too scared to get your driver's license. You're not trying out for that sports team you wanna try out for. Do you think that version of you would be happy? I don't think so. You see, I live my life now trying to make the past version of myself proud. Let me explain. If I wanted to make in the entertainment industry as an actor, I do, then my goal is to start today. So that when I look back at this day three months in the future, I can see how much progress I've made and how far I've come. You see, if I'm always waiting for the perfect moment, I'll never find it. So if you wanna get into the best university, if you wanna build some muscle, if you wanna start painting, do it now. There's literally nobody stopping you except for you. Does anybody ever actually play on these things? I've always wondered that as a kid. This thing, that, wait, bro, dance, did anybody ever actually play on these? Cause I never did growing up. All I used to do is play grounders. A lot of people also don't know what grounders is. Do you? Or is that like a, a local thing. What's actually wild is coming back to this part today, I remembered that I made a video here about six years ago where I did trick shots and it's really embarrassing. Don't cut to it. Don't cut to it. Don't show. show. Oh. Ooh. NBA draft 2019. I cut to it, didn't I? Yep, that's embarrassing. Well, what are you waiting for? Send that email. Go on that walk. Meet that new person. You never know where it'll lead. But there's one thing that's certain. If you don't take action and you keep waiting for the perfect time, it's not going to lead anywhere. Movie race. Do you hear that? The geese in the background? Welcome to Canada. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Okay.